I know they're close together, then I refine lure position in relation to the fish. So again, you gotta keep track of your transducer, the fish, your bait, what your hands and feet are doing, which gives you a bigger margin for error on your cast. With all that in mind, check what Oklahoma crappie tournament angler and guide Dustin McDaniel said on LureNet.com. Live scope shows me depth and distance of a target, but not exactly where the fish is located in the view beam. I figure it's positioned by constantly panning my trolling motor back and forth while also keeping track of beam direction and glow of fish and lure. Once the two targets have a similar glow, 